Analysis of assessment tools. This assignment is worth 50 points. You can complete one or two of them. In order to complete this assignment, you'll identify two assessment tools that are currently being used in your placement school. These tools can be formative or summative assessments and can be teacher-made or standardized assessments. So you can use something as simple as a weekly spelling test to evaluate. That would be an assessment tool that may be used in your current placement. Or you could use something like the um, uh, uh, a more summative test, like an end of unit uh, social studies test or science test, which obviously would include some level of literacy or literacy understanding, or you could use something in between, like a teacher observation checklist, which also could be formative or it could be a summative assessment, depending on what it is. So once you've chosen your tool, you're going to use this um, document that's posted on Moodle. It's called Choosing the Right Assessment Tools. And for this document, you are going to take the tool and you're going to determine where that tool fits. So, um, for example, if you're doing a spelling test, you would look here and you would say, keeping going down, um, it would probably be a performance assessment. And then you would look at each column and you would say, is it a direct or an indirect? Is it addressing domains of cognitive, psychomotor, or affective? You would go through each of these and you would describe how it's, um, how that tool fits into one of those columns. And then you would take these questions. So the assignment says that you will answer eight of the first 10 questions, and that would be your choice. So you can look at these first 10 questions and you would answer eight of them. And the way that I want you to do that is to just number on your paper. You don't have to repeat the question on your paper, but you do need to put the number so that I know what question you're answering. And you'll do eight of the first 10, and then you'll also do, I believe it's number 13. Yes, so we'll look at number 13 here. Um, is the assessment unbiased or value neutral? And really think about that. Okay, what we'll do in class is we will take an assessment and we'll go through this um, document and we'll practice it. So your grade for this would be based on the thoroughness of your responses. So um, the first part, did you really look at each of these columns and did you determine? So if you say, that it is, for example, um, a knowledge and an application, it would be good for you to tell me why you said that. That would be worth more points than if you just put a K or a C. Um, and I, again, I'm looking for a deeper level of thinking about assessments. And in order for, um, for this assignment, you do need to do two assessments for 50 points. Okay, um, you can talk to other people about the assessment and get their opinion. You can bring an assessment to me and say, can we talk about this together? And I would be glad to do that. Um, as all of the assignments and essential question one are, this will be due on February 21st.